Hey guys, welcome back to my Let's Play of Professor Layton and the Curious Village. Uh, this is part two, and I'm your host, Lever 33 as always, and welcome. So yeah, we're gonna start, um, playing again. Let me just, uh, click on the screen. Look at that little mouse. So, uh, let's continue on with our puzzles. So last time we did a couple puzzles, and we got into town. So right now we're gonna talk to Percy. Oh, hello. It's... I'm Percy, St. Mysterious unofficial writer in residence. Reinhold Manor, you ask? Head up that road to the right. It's a minch, so you'll know when you see it. But before you go, why not try your hand at a puzzle I thought of? So let's see. If you manage to solve the puzzle, I'll tell you about the village. How bad are you? You'll try, won't you? After all, a writer is nothing without an audience. Let's see. This one's worth 20 pick rats. Can you find my house? Go out the front door of my place and turn left. At the first junction you come across, take a right. Turn right again at the following junction and you'll come face to face with the morning sun. So the sun rises on the east, so we're going to want to be facing this direction here. So let's try each house. So you leave, turn left. You turn right. Well, we can't turn right here, so this one's out of the question. So we turn left, turn right, turn right again. This one's also out of the question. Uh, we leave, turn left, turn right, turn right again. I think it's going to be this one. We'll try the rest to make sure. Leave, turn left. Wait, no. Turn left. Turn right, turn right again, not that one. Turn left, turn right, turn right again, not that one. Left, right, right again, nope. Uh, left, right, right again. So it's going to be this one. We turn left, right, right. So we're going to say it's this one, and we're going to submit our answer here. Alrighty, had to go check on something real quick, guys. Uh, got some pick rats for that one. That's right. Working backwards is the easiest way to solve this problem. The sun rises in the east. She so must end up facing right on the map to get there. So it basically says we should work backwards. Um, impressive. I thought I'd set out quite the puzzle, but you made short work of it. Now for the gossip, I promise you. The Reinhold family owns all of the land in this village. I hear they own all the buildings, too. I suppose you could say this village belongs to the Reinholds. Well, that's all from me for now, but rest assured that the next time I'll have a harder puzzle for you. Alrighty, so let's see which place we should go next. I think we've done all of the... Oh, nope. Have some hint coins. I think there's two on each screen. I don't think we can go there. And he's not going to let us go left, is he? That's, uh, what was his voice again? Oh, Professor, I don't think Reinhold Manor's that way. That definitely was not his voice, but we'll go to the right then. Professor, I don't think Reinhold Manor's that way. Professor, look at the man standing in the street. Oh, he's blocked. <laughs> I forgot there, it's been 24 hours since the last recording, so I've completely forgotten all the characters' voices. He's blocking the... <laughs> He's blocking the way up to Reinhold Manor. How terribly rude. Perhaps he'll move for us. But I have a feeling he has no intention of doing anything of the sort. I think that was his voice. So we can't really go in here, can we? Shouldn't we be on our way to Reinhold Manor, Professor? Alright, let's check around the screen. There's one coin. There's going to be a second coin somewhere. There we go. Let's talk to this nice gentleman standing here. Hold up! I've never seen you two here before. What's a couple of new faces like yourselves doing here? We're here by invitation of the Reinholds. Now if you'll excuse us, we have business through the gate. Business with the Reinholds, is it? So... That's not his voice. Something strange here. Yes, you're a fishy pair. Mmm, I don't trust you, that's for sure. But I'll let you pass if you can solve this riddle, see? 
Just to warn you, it's a tough one. It ain't gonna be easy, is it? No way. Definitely not gonna be easy. Puzzle number six. It's worth 40 picarats. Here we have eight small weights that all look the same. However, one of the weights in the group is slightly lighter than the rest. Using this scale two times, you can find out which of these weights is lighter than the rest. So which weight is the lightest? So this one is kind of a bit of trial and error. We're going to put three on one and three on the other. And we're going to hope that the last two are... So that's not going to work. We're going to have to restart. So we have to hope that these weigh the same. One, two, three... Five, six, eight. Son of a gun. The thing is, they give you a bit of time to try trial and error, and whenever I did this puzzle, I was surprised to find that this is what they expect you to do. There we go. So these all weigh the same. So we have to see if four or eight is heavier and pick the lighter one. Put eight on here. Move you, you, and you. So four is heavier, so eight is going to be the lighter one. So let's do that, and let's submit. There we go. Every puzzle has an All right, there's that one. That's right. To solve this puzzle with no guesswork, you must load three weights on each side of the scale for your first measurement. If you manage to get that far, the rest is easy. So that's still a bit of trial and error, honestly. Hey, not half bad. Pretty sharp bunch, aren't you? Pair of good sharp apples, Atulias. So have we satisfied you? May we pass now? Of course you can pass. Move along, and you better make sure to give my regards to Lady Dahlia. Kind of struggled to read that again, so we've... Got his puzzle done. Let us move forward. I don't think we're allowed to go left. Oh no, uh, that's where we came from. Let's go back to the right, and this time we will head upward. So I don't see anywhere that the coins are at. I've tried looking for them on this thing. Um, but I don't see them. So let us now... Oops, didn't mean to do that. Let's close, and let us talk to this fine gentleman here. And just might, and just who might you be? My name is Layton, and this is my assistant, Luke. We've we received an invitation to visit Reinhold Manor. Oh, yes, yes. Oh, ho, ho. we've been expecting you, Professor Layton. But, oh, ho, ho, you have to excuse my skepticism. Can't trust anyone these days, you know. For all I know, you've been just another hoo hoo hooligan in a top hat. Oh, ho, ho, ho. How do I know you're the real Layton? Did you hear that, Professor? The nerve of this fellow! Surely you aren't gonna go through with this after an insult like that! Now, now, Luke, settle down. Sir, are you saying that you'd like to test me to see if I'm the real Professor Layton? Precisely, Professor Layton. Now, if you don't mind, would you please solve the puzzle for me? So let's see what this puzzle is here. Puzzle 7, Wolves and Chicks. This is a full 50 picarats. Get the three wolves and three chicks seen below to the other side of the river while obeying the following conditions. No more than two animals can ride the raft at the same time, and there must be at least one animal on the raft in order for it to move. Finally, if more wolves than chicks stay on either side of the river, the wolves will eat the chicks and you'll have to start over. You can move the raft as many times as you like, but this can be accomplished in as few as 11 moves. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to get... We're going to try to get all the wolves over to the other side first. And move one back. And then let's move these two over again. So we have to take at least one wolf back. Oh, I'm forgetting how this works. Uh, and then we take these two across. 
Oh no! Restart. So I messed up there. I thought I remembered how to do this, but maybe not. Take one back. Take two across. Take one across. Oops, messed that up again. Restart, please. One, two, one. We gotta get you across. One. So now we've got two and one here. See, I'm forgetting how to do this. That's a, that's quite a pain there, you know? You know what I say? Because I think we need to have all three of them on this side. Huh. I'm sorry about this, guys. I thought I had this uh, figured out uh, by the time I started up my camera, but man, was I wrong. Because we got two on that side, so now we got to get... We move two of them across. We're going to want to move these two chicks to this side. Now, I know you don't want to stay there alone. There we go. Now we got to move these two across. Move one back. Move you two back across. And we've done it in 11 moves. Goodness gracious, that took a little longer than I thought it would. There we go, and we've solved the puzzle. And that's uh, one of those elusive 50 Picarat puzzles. Well done. The puzzle can be solved in as few as 11 trips. How many trips did it take you? Fun fact time. There are several variations of this type of river crossing puzzle. They've appeared in writings dating back to over 1,000 years ago. Oh, do excuse my earlier rudeness. Let me show you the manor. Everyone's waiting for you. Everyone? I was under the impression that Lady Dahlia was the only person expecting me. Right this way, please. And we've solved the wolves and chicks puzzle. So we're going to go across to the manor. Whoa! Is that the manor, Professor? He gets a different voice every cutscene. That is guaranteed. It's positively gigantic. Just look at the size of it. It certainly seems like we've come to the right place. Chapter 1. Ride Home Manor awaits. We have solved Chapter 1. So now we're going to save again, I think. Nope. Let's head in, shall we? Yes, sir. Let's head into the manor. Welcome to Reinhold Manor. Thank you for coming. I am Matthew, butler and servant of the Reinhold family. Everyone's waiting upstairs for you. Ah, oh, but before you go, I have a message from Lady Dahlia. She has requested that you take a look at this puzzle. Please do not be taken aback. My lady has the strangest sense of propriety sometimes. So let's try moving the match. So you can move it left, right, up, down like that. And you can also rotate the match. So let's do a puzzle. This was the first one that I think truly stumped me for a while. Because I thought I had done it right. But you just had to move two of these matches. The matches below are arranged in the shape of a dog. This poor little doggy was just minding his own business when a car came barreling down the road and ran him over. Move two matches to change the picture so that it shows the dog after the accident. All puzzles are a matter of perspective, so don't assume you'd be looking at the dog from the side at the time you're finished with this one. So we're going to do one, and we're going to do two here. And I think that's... There we go. Let's uh, submit. I think that... So you see now he's from overhead and he's kind of ran over with his legs all sprawled out. There we go. There we go. 
See, I had rotated them as well, and it didn't like that as much for my first time doing it. After the car flattened the poor dog. Oh, no. The car flattened the poor dog. Let's this be a lesson to you. Be aware of your surroundings while driving. All those kids driving, playing this game, you know. That's absolutely correct, my com... That's absolutely correct, my commendation, sir. Again, I do pro apologize for the strangeness of this request. Now, please walk this way. We mustn't keep Lady Dolly and the company waiting. So let's, uh... Oh, there's a suitcase. It's important to keep your mind sharp. Oh, we got another puzzle. Let's see what this puzzle is. Puzzle 10. Four digits. I don't know if I ever did this one. A, B, C, and D are single-digit single numbers. The following equations can be made with these numbers. A plus C equals D. You can scribble notes on the touch screen. Okay, so A plus C equals D. A times B equals C. C minus B equals B, and A times 4 equals D. So let's start with... Um, Kind of making these things all match. So we know that A, we have an equation which is C and B. Um, so let's start by making this equation in terms of D. So if we have D, oh shoot, uh, let's uh, clear. So if we had um, 4A equals D. So, A, oh, that looks awful, plus, <laughs> I can't write on this thing, A plus C, <laughs> I'm using a mouse for this if you can't tell, and it just does not write right, A plus C equals 4A. So we know that C is equal to 3a. So let's clear and we'll write that in the corner. c equals 3a. So we have a times b equals c. So now we know that a times b, it's like a math lesson, equals 3a. So we know now that b is equal to 3. So knowing that, we can do this equation. C is 3A, and B is 3. So 3A minus 3 equals 3. So that means 3A equals 6. So A must equal 2. And so C must equal, if A is equal to 2, C is 6. So, here's, let's do a plug and check now. A, 2, plus C, 6, is equal to 8. So based on this, I'm going to write this in a notepad document, just because I need um, a place to put this. I know that it's not going to be as convenient for you guys, but I have... I'm just going to do this so I can rewrite it. A is equal to 2. B is equal to 3. And C is equal to 6. And D is equal to 8. So I'm just going to test this to make sure. Let's clear. So A, 2 plus 6 is equal to 8. So that's true. A is 2 and B is 3, C is 6. So 2 times 3 is equal to 6. That's true. 6 minus B is 3. So 6 minus 3 is equal to 3. And then A is 2. So 2 times 4 is equal to 8. That's true. So let us input the answer. So 2. Let's do 3. Let's do 6. And then finally we have... 
eight. So that's my answer, 2368. And we did it. Give me one second. Do, 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 do. I had to go turn off the bath water. I was, I was running the bath water while I was doing this. Let me get rid of this notepad document. So correct. That's right. A, B, C, D equals 2, 3, 6, 8. Since A plus C equals A times 4, that's not how I did it. I did it a little different, then C must equal 3A. So I got that in the end. So it's just basic algebra. I probably did it in the most roundabout way possible, but we did it. How did you like the puzzle, Luke? I hope it has prepared you for tackling more difficult puzzles. Puzzle 10! So let us save real quick. Uh, go to the save feature. We're going to save number 2 here. And I think that that's about all the time we have for part two. So I hope you guys enjoyed part two of the Let's Play. I've been your host, Skitty Lover 33 as always, and I hope to see you guys next time. Bye, guys.